So, when we think about it, this is probably the worst condition that the Eastern Kingdoms has ever been at this point. Let's recap. After the events of Warcraft 1 and 2, at this point in time, Stormwind is basically rubble. Lordaeron has been wiped out. Uh, Quel'Thalas is annihilated. And... Hold on, I'm just kind of recapping the king, you know, like, the places in, uh, in the Eastern Kingdoms. Like, <laughs> Stormwind is completely wrecked. So is Lordaeron. So is Quathalas. I mean, we think about it, at this point, there's only a couple places that may be still okay. Like Ironforge, Nomergon, and Gilneas. But the you know the Scourge have wrecked the Eastern Kingdoms now, uh, along with you know like I said in the area of Stormwind, that's still wrecked from what the um, Demonic Horde did back in the events of Warcraft One and Two, and now the Burning Legion is there. At the Eastern Kingdoms. Because Archimonde and the Dreadlords and everything. Like the Burning Legion forces are now there. Like the Eastern Kingdoms is on fire. And is in probably the worst condition it has ever been. However. There is still hope. And it lies on the other continent across the sea. For while Archimonde and the Burning Legion have arrived... In the Eastern Kingdoms and on Azeroth, Thrall and the Horde have arrived at Kalimdor at the request of Medivh. Chapter 1 Landfall. Following the mysterious prophet's instructions, Thrall led the Horde across the Great Sea. Now, after weeks of traversing the raging seas, the Orcish Horde, alongside the Dark Spirit Trolls, uh, following the events of the prologue we did earlier, has landed upon the savage shores of Kalimdor. With their stolen ships broken and drowned, the Orcs cautiously venture inland, wary of the unseen dangers lurking within the crags of the desolate land. So there's his landing site, a Quillbor camp, a Torin camp, Harpy Ness, there's Razorfen Downs, and way up there is Stone Talon Peak. So just to give you an idea of where this is taking place on the map. Yeah, the ships are not in good condition. War Chief, our ship sustained heavy damage when we passed through the raging maelstrom. It's unsalvageable. I knew it. Can we confirm our location? Is this Kalimdor? We traveled due west as you instructed. This should be it. Very well. Has there been any sign of Hellscream or the other ships? No, War Chief. Not since we got separated. Hmm. Prepare to move out. If our comrades did make it here, we should be able to find them along the coast. Alright. Got some troll headhunters. What? What you want me to do? What you bother me for? You want to buy a cigar? Lucy. I, sh I should point out that at this point in time, I don't know if the devs were entirely sure whether what they exactly they wanted to do with the trolls in terms of 
well, I guess the, the dialects, because we know the trolls usually sound, you know, more Jamaican, you know, like in WoW and such. But here in Warcraft 3, they were kind of going for a Cuban thing. Now, I say, you know, I bring this up mainly because, well, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually half Cuban. My father was actually born in Cuba. So, this kind of resonates with me. <laughs> because, well, because I'm like, plus I also, you know, I have seen a lot of I Love Lucy. So when he makes an I Love Lucy reference there, trying to sound like Ricky Ricardo, let's just say it, it kind of make, raises my eyebrows and go, huh? Master? Look, regard, no girl. I think I may have... <laughs> I already don't remember if I actually did the, um... We should check these crates for valuable supplies. Ah, there we go. Yes. The, uh... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, poke lines for these units. For honor. Yes. And yes, that is still Bill Roper's voice. Hmm. Chain lightning! Now, as a shaman main, oh, yeah, I can be like, yeah! This is one of our ships, Warchief. It must have been smashed against the rocks in the storm. Hmm. Indeed. Yes. Totems. Dabu. The Tauren are nearby. For honor. Yes. For honor. Dabu. Yeah, so if I didn't make it clear at the end of the last video, to me, this is where the horde, the horde that I know, the horde that I love, the horde that I... The clay is red with fresh blood. Is there nothing in this land but dust and carnage? The horde that many of us players that play horde, uh... Yes. You know, are loyal to and love. Not the other ones. But this one is where it really became a thing. The bodies of horses. Loktar Ogar! Oh, we couldn't save that Tauren. We tried. We were too late. And Thrall is Oom. For honor. Yes. And Thrall, you gotta work on your, uh... Cass. Can't be going home so soon. Yes. Hmm. Those pig creatures are think? unlike anything I've ever seen before. At least they're prettier than the humans. <laughs> yeah. Ugly humans. Humans are so ugly. Ah! Look, no, no. Wait. Yes. For honor. You know, I was gonna, you know, I almost started to make a joke uh, about uh, how easy it is to go oom back in the days of vanilla. Yes. Like, what do you think this is? They're all vanilla wow? <laughs> We're gonna misuse your cast and go oom within a few seconds? For honor. Thanks hey. for saving us, man. We should hurry. The pigmen say there were other ships nearby. For honor. Okay. Dabu. Okay, so you gotta make up your mind, pal. Yes. Are you Jamaican or Cuban? Because Cubans don't go in my. It's been abandoned for quite some time. Perhaps the crew has survived and is around here someplace. The horsemen are slaughtered. Torrin! Aid them! Ah, I led us here to escape senseless conflict. Now it seems we're surrounded by it. 
Oh, Thrall. Hey, we did save one. But we can't talk to him. Be like, hello. Yes. You know, strange being. Hmm. We are friendly. Dabu. Murlocs! For honor. Uh, leave our ship alone. Yes. <sighs> Nothing can be salvaged from that. Hmm. Yes. Torin. Carrying around totems, which we still can't do. Dabu. Thromkar, war chief. We knew you. Thromkar. Thromkar, warrior. I'm glad you're all safe. Were you part of Hillscream's group? No, war chief. We were separated in the storm. We only just arrived. Let us continue then. Yes. For honor. Dabu. Yes. Let's try and save that torno. Will survive. Dabu. Hmm. The horsemen look as if they're dressed for war. For honor. Hmm. Centaurs. For honor. Get away from this fountain. You defile it. For doom hammer. For doom hammer. Yes. For honor. Yes. Dabu. What is up here? Murlocs! For honor. Dabu. For honor. Yes. Hmm. Dabu. From Car, War Chief. Well met, Warrior. Has there been any sign of. The horsemen are charging. Defend yourselves. Luktar! Luktar! <laughs> Cairn! I am Cairn, chief of the Bloodhoof Torren. You greenskins fight with both savagery and valor. I am intrigued. I am Thrall, and these are my brethren, the Orcs. We've come seeking the destiny promised to us. <laughs> seeking destiny? Hmm. It will find you in time, young one. However, there is an oracle far to the north which might be able to... North? But there's an army of the horsemen marching north. What? No. My village is in danger. I must know more about this oracle. Follow them! Protect Cairn at all costs! And thus Thrall and Cairn met for the first time, and thus began the friendship between the Orcs and the Tauren. 
for honor. That's what I loved about this campaign. It really showed the origins of the horde that we got to join and play in WoW. Yes. Loktar. Uh -huh. Let's get on with it. All right, I think we may have found the village. For honor. Yes. Dabu. I am the war chief. Dabu. We've arrived in time. Get him! The next wave is advancing. I have a grunt there. He'll be fine. Yes. Look, Narash! Here they come again! We're all leveled. Feral spirits. Yeah, get them. Uh, no gun. Ah, they've brought a champion with them this time. You're all good, Karen. Your tribe is safe, old one. Thanks to you, Kodo. young war chief. But the centaur drove off all the game in this region, and I cannot allow my people to starve. Soon we must head north to the verdant grasslands of Mulgore. I love Karen's weapon. Fear the marauders will overtake you. Yes. The devil's speed cannot be matched upon the plains. Well, if you tell us how to reach the oracle you spoke of, then my brethren and I will escort you on your march. I am intrigued by you and your people, young Thrall. You are more than welcome to join us. Like I said, thus began the friendship between Thrall, Cairn, and the orcs, and the Tauren. Thrall meant it when, in Cataclysm, he, he said, Cairn was my brother. Chapter 2, The Long March. Two days later, upon the desolate plains of the Barrens... <laughs> so you can see there's Mulgore, and there is the Barrens. All I have to say is the Barrens, and people will be like, mm-hmm. This land is rugged and beautiful, much like the place from which my people originally come. Yes. We Torin have always held a great respect for the works of the Earth Mother. There are far worse fates than living freely upon the open plains, young war chief. Hmm, perhaps. But my people deserve a land to call their own, Cairn. War Chief, we've spotted a herd of marauders bearing down on us. Cairn, the Kodos are overburdened and must rest. Why don't you remain here and protect the caravan while we search for a suitable oasis? Ha! Ah, there's no need to coddle me, boy. I may be old, but I'm not helpless. <laughs> uh... Look, I may be old, but I can still hold my own. You young whippersnapper, you. The thing is, Th Thrall is actually very young compared to orcs. And of course, Cairn is quite old. But as we find out, an old Torin is really not that much of a difference compared to a younger Torin when it comes to their, um, you know, mm. strength in a battle and such. Karen can still hold his own plenty in a battle. This is proven later. Assume defensive positions. Lok Tarogar, let none stand in our way. When he fights Garrosh. 
and Cairn schools oh, no. Garrosh in a fight. Dabu. For honor. Funny thing is, Thrall is actually younger than Garrosh. Yes. Hold your formations. The Kodos must be protected. Ah. Mm. Ah, they're fine. They shall not catch the Tauren unprepared. Indeed, Karen. For honor. So, for now, we've got Chain Lightning. I'm... I love Feral Spirit, just having a couple of extra wolves. Later on we can get Farsight and Earthquake. Now, Farsight is actually useful in this game compared to its usefulness in WoW. As a Shaman main, I've hardly ever found it an actual use for Farsight. The Centaur have returned. We're under attack. We're under attack. Back. Yes. Dabu. Hmm. Go grab the scroll, Thrall. Hmm. Yes. Time to bust open some crates. Hmm. Aha! A potion of mana. For honor. Let's kind of clear this up, just yes. to double check. Hmm. All right. Aha. For honor. Get that centaur. Let's get on with it. Yes. I I found myself wondering if Karen is actually waiting for us to move forward before he does. No. Nope. They go at their own pace. Yeah, this is an escort quest. <laughs> if you hate escort quests, yeah. The marauders attack again. Stand and fight, my brethren. It's all right, Can. They're already dead. Oh, never mind. There's a few more up here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Yes. Aha! Hmm. Hmm. Dabu. Ah, uh, Karen? Kodos, you good? You ready to go? Come on. Uh Yes. Okay. You're finally moving. For honor. Bramka warrior. You're from the war song, are you not? Yes, war chief. Hellscream sent our party to find you, but we were separated when the horsemen attacked. Don't worry, we'll find them. For now, drink from the pool. The spirits of this place will replenish your strength. Heal up. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> Yes. Aha! Murlocs! For honor. Attack! Hold your formations! The Kodos must be protected! Yes. 
Yes. Like the the, uh, the visual that the Kodos are actually like drinking from the fountain. Nice little touch. For honor. We're under attack. We're fine. Yes. Dabu. Your time has come. For honor. None will survive. Hmm. Dabu. Hello? Potion of man. I already have one. Yes. Hmm. They're like, hey! For honor. Huh. A regen potion over 30 seconds. For honor. Not bad. Come on, Karen. This, this is one of those quests I look back on and I remember not liking it because it kind of took forever. <laughs> oh, man. Double. Like, Come on. Hmm. There you go. Yes. Hmm. We're under attack! Hold your formations. The Kodos must be protected. Yeah, them Torrens pack a punch. Hmm. I mean, they should. We're under attack! Oh! Uh, For honor. Protect the Kodos! Yes. Oh, Thunder Lizards! Ooh, Claws of Attack. For honor. Right. It's alright, Karen. We're clearing the way. For honor. More centaurs. We're under attack. I am the war chief. Huh. Dabu. There we go. Hmm. Yes. For honor. Goblins. Hey, War Chief. How may we serve you? Hey, Raiders. Need something. <laughs> Lokriga, no gal. Hold your formation. The Kodos must be protected. Yes, Chieftain. Go ahead and scout ahead.
We're under attack! Aha! Say the word. <laughs> the spirits are restless. For honor. Check with the goblins. Look, regard, no call. Yeah. Look, regard, no call. Yes. Swobu. Swobu. Hmm. Pia. No problem. Karen, are you seriously Go waiting with on this? Dabu. Hmm. For honor. Dabu. Hmm. Hold your formation. The Kodos must be protected. Ah, the I oasis the at there. last. Oh! What's on catapults? Catapults! Oh, could be useful. Demolishers. Siege weapons of the Orcish Horde. Say the word. No problem. Pia. Let's ride. Let's ride. No problem. Smash. Hold your formation. The Kodos must be protected. We're under attack! I am the war chief. Need something? <laughs> yes, you are, Thrall. Okay. Whoops. There we go. I ain't the best typer. You guys ready to go? The spirits are restless. Mm. Scout ahead, Raiders. Okay, uh, yeah. Master? Zug Zug. Alright, the siege weaponry should help out now. Say the Why don't you guys go heal up real quick? Okay. The 
spirits are restless. Hold your formation. The Kodos must be protected. It's alright, that's why I got the raiders back here. Quick response. I am huh. War Chief. We're just attacking them as they're running by. Yes. Hmm. What do you want? No car. Need something. <laughs> this pass leads straight to Mulgore. But I fear the caravan will be overrun before it reaches the other side. We'll be fine, Kay. The oasis at last. Let's rise. Protect the rear. Yes. Do, 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 do. Dabu. Heal up at the fountain. Loktar. Okay, you guys move. Let them, let them get their spots. Yes, Chieftain. Cairn, the caravan will never make it in time. Let the fury of the Earth Mother deal with these wretches as they deserve. Nice. They will trouble us no more. And you, young war chief, are free to continue your quest. To the Oracle? What is it? Legends say that it saw the strands of fate as they were woven by the Earth Mother. It alone can show you your destiny. Where will I find it? Far to the north, near the shadowy base of Mount Hyjal, lies Stone Talon Peak. You will find the Oracle within the peak's hollow. I will send my finest Kodos to aid you in your journey. Thank you, Cairn. I will not forget you. Go with honor, young war chief. May the Earth Mother smile upon you. Same to you, Karen. Same to you. Interlude. The Wreckage of Lordaeron. Meanwhile, back in Lordaeron, the Burning Legion commences its invasion. You can see between Anderhal and Stratholm really in the heart of the Lordaeron kingdom. Doom guards, infernals, fell hounds. Like the Legion at this point is just trying to finish off wrecking everything. Hail, mighty Manoroth. How goes the invasion? Bah, these frail humans offer no My goodness, Manoroth. Looking even uglier than usual. The Scourge did its job well. Unlike some others I could name. Do not mock me, Dreadlord. I am aware of the Orc's failure. When I find them, I will discipline them myself. Yes, actually, that's why I've come. I thought you might like to know that the Orcs are no longer here. What? Are you certain? Certain as ever, Manoroth. 
My agents, at least, are always dependable. They tell me that the orcs have landed on Kalimdor. Kalimdor? But what could they be? Bah! The orcs are mine by right, and I will claim them wherever they choose to run. And you are mine, Manoroth. You would do well to remember that fact. We will watch the wayward orcs and wait. Despite their failure, they may still prove useful to us. It's interesting the hierarchy here involved with the Burning Legion. Because Tychondrius is at this point like the overall leader of the Dreadlords. But the Dreadlords actually work for the Pit Lords, and Manoroth is considered by many to be the mightiest of all the Pit Lords, and in a sense, the top Pit Lord. And yet, the Pit Lords answer to Archimond, and, as we will meet later, kill Jaden. Now, you may wonder, why is that? Why is it that the Dreadlords and the Pit Lords answer to Archimond and also kill Jaden? Because Sargeras recruited Archimond and killed Jaden himself. Everybody in the Burning Legion, the Dreadlords, the Pit Lords, they all answered to Sargeras. And two of the most powerful ones that he personally recruited to be his leaders of his army was killed Jaden and Archimond. So if Sargeras tells them, you answer to him, they're going to do it. It's also very understandable that at this point, Archimond is more powerful when it comes to his sheer power than either Manoroth or Tychondrius. Like, Archimond at this point, if he wanted to, he could just wipe out both Tychondrius and Manoroth, just like that, if he wanted to. So, it's a very interesting hierarchy amongst the Burning Legion when it comes to the, the structure. It's also interesting to note that because of what happened with the uh, demonic blood ritual back on Draenor that led to the, the orcs becoming the demonic horde, that Manoroth sees them as his by right. That because they drank of his blood and became got their green skin and became the demonic horde, that they belong to him. It's a very interesting look at, look at that. And it also helps kind of um, add to what we're going to be seeing later in this campaign. Chapter 3, The Cry of the War Song. Five days later, near the foothills of the Stone Talon Mountains. So they have gone through Mulgore, you know, to, you know, it looks like, based on that X there, you know, between the Barrens and Stone Talon Peak, or at least they are in the Barrens making their way to Stone Talon Peak, which kind of, if this is the next cutscene I think it is, it's going <laughs> to kind of lend to what they're saying here. War Chief, we've been trudging through this wasteland for a week with nothing to fight but centaurs and pigmen. We need real We've been stuck in the barrens for a week, War Chief. We need to get out of here. Sun have put us all on edge. But we must push on. All will be made clear. Boredom in the sun in the barrens, yep. <laughs> you say, War Chief. Look, it's the Warsong clan, and they're battling humans. Wretched orcs. How dare you follow us to this land? Save your breath, human. You need it to scream when I start tearing off your limbs. Lotar warriors! Hellscream needs help! Yes. Okay, peons, you stay back. What do you want? Alright, let's clean up this base. Prom, 
I leave you alone for a handful of days and you're already getting in yourself into trouble. Ugh, hell scream. What was this about? And how the hell did these humans get here anyway? Same way we did, little brother. Apparently, a frail girl named Proudmoor leads them. Her forces have cordoned off the pass that leads to the north. Hmm. Well, we must make it through the pass despite her. I'll send our hunters to scout the area while we establish a base. Until then, the humans are not to be touched. Whatever you say, War Chief. Hey. It's Gorehowl. You saw that, right? Yeah, we'll control Grum in a later mission. We'll get the chance to look at it later. Say the word. Hey, we have a Kodo Beast. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So, before we cut off here, you, you noticed that, right? So, Jaina did take Medivh's words to heart and brought what survivors she had left over with her to Kalimdor. This, of course, begins her wanting to... Uh, is the beginning stages of her getting ready to establish uh, Theramore over there. Yeah, so... Uh, we will be uh, trying to kind of help out Grom here and uh, begin our first base mission in this Horde campaign when we return. Stay tuned!